Following on from um, the various different types of uh, wagglers that I've just shown you, obviously for fishing on the rod and line, I want to now show you the uh, some pole rigs. Obviously um, for fishing margin poles, long poles with short line, or even fishing to hand on the whip on commercials nowadays is uh, are all extremely popular uh, methods that, you know, if you visit most commercial fisheries nowadays and look at a match, I would imagine you'll find 95% of the anglers there will be using the pole because it's such a devastating, accurate method. For that reason, um, we wanted to produce our own range of pole rigs, again under the Stillwater banner, and we wanted, and we're insistent that, um, that we made sure that our pole rigs under our brand were at the best quality you could possibly get. For that reason, it, it took a long time to develop these, to uh, produce the packaging, to insist on, on, on all the features that are very, very important in a well-made pole rig. Um, just to concentrate, I'll show you the packaging initially. As you can see, the line diameters, hook sizes and length of rig are all shown on the packaging on the front. Of course, you can clearly see the actual p shape of the pole float on the, on the winder there. But if you turn the packaging over, there's some simple, and ex simple explanations and even four different um, ways that the rig can be fished on each one of the, uh, the pole rigs. There are um, many, many different um, shapes of float and, and style of rig available in the range, but they all share the same build quality ethic, some of which I'd like to, uh, to show you, because they all are very, very important things that you should look for in, in any pole rig and in fact any pole rig that you would make at home yourself if you make your own. So just to, uh, to unclip the, uh, the winder, uh, the, the rig from the winder, just bear with me one second. Oh, you. There we go. Right, the first thing I'd like to, to point out is we were insistent that every single rig was made with three, three rubbers on the stem. That's critical to avoid the stem bending and breaking. Um, as you can see, on, even on this little, uh, little dibber float, there are three rubbers on the, um, on the actual float itself. This is a very, very light rig indeed. It's actually a 0.1 of a gram rig. Now, I, I hope you can see on there, but there are no, we were insistent again that no shot should actually be put on the hook length. I've seen many, many uh, pole rigs commercially made where, um, where up to 75% of the shotting capacity you need for the float is actually on the, on the hook length. Well, the hook length is designed to be the weak link of the rig to start with, without nipping shot on it and making it even weaker. Of course, if you lose a fish the first cast and 75% of your shot, shotting capacity is on your hook length, then that pretty much renders the... Um, renders the rig useless for, for anybody who struggles with tiny size 8 or size 10 shot. So um, just to recap that, there are no shot whatsoever on the hook length. Uh, the shot are all on the main line. We use three rubbers on the floats and it goes with, well, I hope it goes without saying that every single hook that's used is a high quality barbless hook suitable for any commercial fishery. So that's a, a brief um, presentation of the Stillwater pole rigs which um, which retail at £2.50 each, so a significant saving on uh, what you'll pay for a lot of uh, ready-made pole rigs. We also do the complete set of 14 rigs for only £19.99. So um, doing the maths on that, obviously you can say that, see that that would save you a fortune over uh, many, many other brands of ready-made pole rigs. So that's the Stillwater Pole Rig range.